All right, guys. Today's Sunday. Feels like mid-May rather than mid-March, but it's a beautiful day. I'm going to start tearing the accessories off where I can clean the block. <clears throat> First thing I'm going to do is take off the alternator, the hose, the water pump, the uh, pulleys, exhaust manifolds, bracket here, and uh, we'll get it down to where we can do some work on it. Pretty much bought all of these hoses and uh, water pump. That's the only thing I'm really going to try to save is, of course, the alternator and uh, carburetor. John, you asked me about this carburetor. dirt and trash in there. That would tell me the model number on this thing. 181455 is what's on this linkage right here. And that's all I see. I never never really fooled with any uh, of these car carburetors. Every time I, I'm pulling the motor even if it runs good, I'm going to go through it. I'm going to change parts on it. That wire. It just, it just makes sense too. Like a water pump. Look at that. Damn. I mean, it just makes sense to change the water pump. That, uh, I mean, you don't want a water pump failing on you for sure. Pull it off, and I'll have to pull these studs out. Okay, guys, I got the water pump, the brags off, put the bolt back in where I can. And uh, now I'm gonna get this pulley off. Every time I pull the motor, I'm going to at least replace the front and rear seals on it because it's just too hard to replace them in the, in the truck, car, whatever. It's, it's, it's just too much to work. Uh, try to get that oil filter off and 
They don't want to come off, so I want to get a little different type of wrench. About broke it, busted the housing on it. I got actually I was tightening it instead of loosening it, and now it won't loosen. So I'm gonna get a big pair of channel locks, and I can get that off, no problem. Then got it out here with me right now. I'm not going to be saving these valve covers. And I'm not going to be saving that timing cover. Got a pretty nice little dress up kit for it. And these are actually aftermarket valve cover bolts. That's pretty nice. Well, he was telling the truth. It's definitely got roller. Roller rockers on it. I like this rubber valve cover gasket. And it is a SR. I don't know what to tell. Her. Okay. It is a SR head. W. It's got 93NH SR. Looks like a L052. And it looks like it's been coated with that red uh, coating. It's supposed to help drain better. Good RTV right there. So, uh, that's what it is, guys. It's an SR head. And, uh, K07 with a W right there. If anybody can tell me who makes this, uh, SR, I've heard of SR Torkers. And I can't remember who makes it. It might be dark. So I would have suspected it would have said dark somewhere on it, but I don't see it. So uh, anyway, guys, what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to flip it back over. And, and uh, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the valve cover back on and I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to. I'm going to go ahead and pull the, uh, well, I'm going to go ahead and pull the timing cover, flip it over, and pull the oil pan, check them bearings. Alrighty, guys, I ain't got much time left on this uh, battery, but I've got these loose, so I'm ready to try to pop this oil pan down. rough on my hand. Let me set you up on this tripod. Hopefully, hopefully this battery won't run out before I can get you the battery caps off. Four bolt main, two and two. Uh, I'm gonna pop a rod bearing off and pop a uh, bearing cap off. And uh, I'll show you what it looks like. I know the battery's about to run out. Alright, guys, here is the rod bearing. Hope you can see. It's a production bearing, and I believe that S is standard. got some scoring in here this had dirty oil in I can feel with my fingertip the scored I ain't real happy about that 
but I am happy that it's a standard crank. The crank is not too bad shape. Polish it out if I wanted to. But uh just wanted to show you all that. And let's look at the main. Alright guys, here's the main. As you can see it's standard. And as you can see, hopefully, it is wiring through the first coat into the second the brass coat. So I'm thinking I'll go ahead and replace the main bearings uh, just because they're the way they are. Uh, I don't want to, but that's already showing me that it's got more than 20,000 miles on it, unless it's been rough miles very few oil changes but I think that would be the best way of doing it just go ahead and replace them now and not have to worry about it alright guys thanks for watching well with one minute left or four minutes left I'm going to show you a few things I like about this bill I use double roller chain and tack welded the oil pan pickup you always need to tack weld these on these Chevys or they will fall off. Alright guys, this will be it for the inspection video. I am going to go ahead and uh, pull the heads. Go ahead and replace all the bearings. And uh, we'll uh, get some video of that. So thanks for watching. Alright guys, just sitting here looking at these uh, SR Torker iron heads and uh, it's not a Dart head, it's a World Products SR Torker. I don't know why he told me Dart. And that is the casting ID number. Is one of those two. It SR looks like a L052 it's a torquer head if it's if it ain't one of those two it is a regular SR head which is basically a factory replacement head the torquer head gives 30 horsepower over stock so uh, yeah and they're about $350 a piece so now heads cost almost as much as a whole damn truck <laughs>